and any delays, but he continues to take these weird, these weird offers. Well, here he's jumping out of the car. Take oh my way. gosh! Lock, and he's jumping into another car, and, and uh, not sure what's happening here, but it appears he may be uh, pulling somebody out of this uh, gold minivan. Oh my gosh! He's hijacking someone else's car. Uh, you can only imagine what what that feeling must be like. So now he's jumping, and he clearly did not take the right. child with it him. It was just him. It was just him. There's no child with him in this new minivan that he's just taken over. He commandeered it. Looked like from a woman who... Right. who two was, people. Two people got Passenger, out. Passenger, driver. Okay. Yeah, it looked right at some point. Uh, the bad guys don't win. That's not how it works in this world, Ooh. thankfully. Oh, man, that was a close call. Yeah. That guy looks like he just hit I know. The okay, it looks like maybe the car's been he's damaged there a little bit. Maybe. You think he blew a tire up there, that no. upper right? It's hard to tell. Maybe maybe it damaged the front nose he... enough that it's rubbing and it'll potentially blow. Uh, is because they are so close to Centennial that they can push it just a bit longer to keep police informed where he is and to also be sure that they're safe so they can get back down. And here he goes. Looks through. like he's going to okay. possibly yeah, jump off It looks car. like he's going to jump. There's some or smoke coming off that car. Just he ran there. into someone else. He's got the yellow and black jacket, just like in the surveillance video. Wait, what is he doing? He's getting back so, to the car. Grabbing something. Okay, where is he? Which exit? He's panicking. Oh, he he's wants to get this other car. That's what he's trying to do. He's on 470 in Peoria. So this is the off ramp to Peoria. There's the on ramp, and now he's. Yeah, oh, this car's got a lot of damage. This this isn't going to be much longer. So he, is, which is uh, very, he's very flying off the car as we speak. You see that, Ken? Yeah, yeah a that's car just be hubcaps right. and, uh, and rubber. A car can't take that much. Now he's bumping the bumper of the car in front of him. He clearly wants to take over yet a third vehicle, but that didn't work out. The last one he ran into, the silver one, I think he pulled up next to it trying to take it, but couldn't get in the car. And now he's doing, That's he's run tire. into someone else, he's run, so he's, tire is now he's lost a tire. At this point, he's doesn't, no, it looks well, like he's he just hoped it. The person doesn't open the door. This is live, guys. I want to warn you, this is live. So we're not sure what's going to happen next. Oh my gosh. Just, you're watching he's it pulling watching someone it. else out of the car. And she's trying to stop him. Oh. That is amazing. And so he damaged that gold minivan, clearly bumping into that guardrail, and uh, realized he had to get in the car, and he did it. And this is the scary thing about these chases, guys. You don't know what somebody's capable of, even when police aren't chasing him. He's just trying to get away, and, and sometimes they'll do whatever it takes, even if it means pulling somebody else out of their car and jumping into their car. Now, once again, going in oh. the wrong way through traffic. But um, he's rammed about two or three cars at this point. Okay, this, this is Lincoln. Okay, so now so he's... Lincoln is the cross street. There's right. the police. Right. The okay. Team. So this thing hopefully will end right now. He's getting out he's of the car. He's getting out, and what's he going to do now? Well, police... Uh, going to try to pull someone else out. It's too late. It's too late. All right, so he's got that yellow coat on. Clearly, this appears to be the same person we saw in the surveillance video from that gas station. Now on foot, as police were just behind him, most likely jumped out and probably right behind him, chasing at this point. Ken, this is Lincoln. Do you know the intersection that we're at? Uh, Lincoln and Peoria. So across the street from the wildlife uh, right. museum down through the there. the wildlife experience. Um, there's a Starbucks and a, uh, like a Lamar's Donuts or a Donut Shop, and I don't think it's a Lamar's anymore. But just, just east of I-25. He okay. slipped on the ice just then. That's slow him down. Now he's down to just his tank top and he's he's trying as hard as he can to get away, but it won't be long now before police catch up. You guys are watching this live as we watch it. This, uh, this suspect here, this person here trying to get away from police. Um, we just saw a police officer to the right of your screen there and he has gone down. He's down on the ground. Given up at this point. Hands behind his back. They'll be reading in his rights right about now and picking him up after uh, an absolutely crazy couple of hours that we